Hello everyone. So today I am going to address few issues related to multiplayer replication e with the great sword and in general in the systems that we have worked on. So the first issue would be when I pick up a sword and equip it, uh, the sword duplicates. So when we picked up, it gets duplicate. It has to do with the uh, net execution policies of the third person of the game liability for the pickup system that we have implemented and the other thing is when the character goes into the locked mode and when we go out of the lock mode we will be having a particular bug in the system which makes the uh, character's moment starter related to the animation so those are the two things that we are going to fix today and before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other projects that i have done in my patreon page once you become a member you can access anything without a limit and this is a part of the section rpg with gameplay ability system series i'm doing you can watch all other episodes as well i'll leave the link to the full playlist in the description below and let's get back to today's tutorial All right, so these are the four things that I want to test here. So first, let's test the test replication. I'll select the net mode to play as client. When I select play as client, the replication looks smooth when I test in the editor. Now, let's use this select editor window. And yeah, now all of these are clients, as you can see. Uh, here, if I uh, now you can see I have collected the sword. If I press one, and here in the owning client, you can see there are two weapons. So this actually happens because of the net policy here if I go to collect great sword so this is a child of collect sword which is a child of GACLM and actually here we don't really need to enable replication uh, the net execution policy if I set this to server initiated this should be fine let's test now if I equip see it works correctly and now let's test uh, here I have noticed some issues with movement see this is because I think in the blend space that we have used where is the blend space Great sword here. I think for some animations, maybe this. I may have forgotten to disable uh, root motion here. Let's do uh, edit selection and property matrix. And root motion. Oh, everything is enabled for root lock. So this actually happened not because of root motion, but it looks like the problem is when the character has a target actor. I need to look into this. Actually, in uh, single player mode, I have set the net mode to play standalone. That issue doesn't seem to happen here see if I move away you can see it's not happening okay the reason for that uh, erratic behavior in the moment is because of this uh, I set this uh, max walk speed to 250 in the soft lock when the character uh, 
breaks soft lock so in the server it has this uh, value in the client it has the previous value which was maybe 500 so that difference is what makes the makes that erratic behavior so uh, if just to test this if I make this 500 and now this will work only for running so here now you can see this works fine and here no nothing happens it works fine so if I set this to 250 I need to make sure this value is replicated but how if I do a search of where I set this uh, max speed the other location is the lock on ability so to address this issue all we need is a way to force uh, this current movement mode resynchronized to these uh, across instances so if i i think i already have a set moment mode no update moment mode yeah here we have this set moment mode function um, I could use so under this VPI character we have get moment mode and then set moment mode so I'll add another function reset moment mode okay. and under character now in here instead of directly setting the speed I'll call it like this reset moment mode okay and then we need to implement this so let's go back here this moment mode so all I need to do is get the current moment mode we already have it here update moment mode and as the mode I can give the current moment mode this will force the system to Resynchronize so, uh, the speeds of the character and thereby avoiding that bug we have. Let's test again. Okay, locked on. And see, now we don't have that issue. Alright, so uh, to solve this issue, perhaps instead of making this, making this variable, setting this variable directly, we maybe try using a set moment mode here and then we need to reset the moment mode to back to whatever we were originally using so how can we do that so perhaps when we call this lock on enemy we can save the original moment mode into a variable 
so let's create a variable and what should I call it original movement mod e movement mods now when I lock on when uh, when lock on is called we can get lock target and check if we have a valid lock target if yes that means we are already in the locked mode if not that means we were we we are in non locked mode so this would be a good place to save the original movement mode so like this okay now in the vpi character i'll add a new function preset movement mode like this And what this should does is here let's implement that just the moment once here place it moment one this should simply call set movement mod function with the original movement mod okay now and the soft lock here instead of this let's try call in set moment mod mm, to crouch I think and then when we lock off we can we could actually yeah, we can actually call reset moment mode without using any of this. Okay, let's try that. Locked on, and if I move away, hmm, we are still in the locked mode. But our bug is gone, but still not quite correct. Okay, why? Well, uh, actually, it is working. See, it is working. Got okay, okay. The other thing I want to address is the is uh, the attack range and customize great sword head reactions and customize great sword hit effects. But I think I'll leave that for the next episode because things could uh, be tracked in here and these topics looks like uh, looks they are not no they don't belong together. So this episode is more of a bug fix. So yeah, thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for the download in Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And see you in another episode. Goodbye.